there's no welcome, no, there's no anchor the way, welcome to Big D country. There's no, this is your lovable word of our Prince DJ. No, 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 no. See, what we have is failure to communicate. So, okay, check this out, check this out. My flight to Denver was paid months in advance. Just like my hotel. Months in advance. Why Why do I have to pay months in advance? Oh, because I have felonies for being poor and being broke. Yeah, that was my dream one time. I got arrested coming out the hospital after suffering from a uh, heat stroke. And I got arrested for being poor and, and being broke. Felony. What should have been misdemeanors for felony. Yeah. I think I told you that. But that's why I had to pay, pay my trips in a man. And I'll do it again when I go to PodFast. But this time, I, it, it, this, this podcast is going to be called To Denver or Bus. Here's why. Let me tell you why. The night. Okay, no. Let's fast, let's fast forward. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I want to thank you for your service to our country and to the, the, the citizen of this city. You are about to undertake a case that's probably a simple case. It is a case where my client has booked the flight a month, two months tops in advance because he is, he is in poverty, he is broke, and the only airline that, that he could fly and love is Southwest Airlines. Yeah. Now, my client was looking forward to this flight. Why? I'll tell you why. Because my client is going to podcast moment. Now, you will, t- you will hear testimony from Dara Easley, who is my client's pick for vice president. You will hear from my client saying that my client had the right to be at podcast moment after he spoke on a video about how to, how to deal with the loss of a co-host or a mentor. And he does it on video. Which gave him a mic that gave him the ticket to go to podcast moment. And never. Now he paid for the hotel. He's staying at Motel 6. He paid for lift cash. Everything should be fine. Oh, oh! And then I say that he added some money on, on uh on Grubhub. Everything should have been fine. Yeah. But there's a problem. On the E of my client flight, you know, all of us here in this courtroom know how when we book a flight that we're given access except to maybe some international flights, the option to check in online. Yes, we all have done it, and we all have done it countless and numbers of times. Ah, but alas, when my client Try to check in for a flight. Now, mind you, he was supposed to check in at one ten, but he checked in. Or he tried to check in a little late because he got up late from a nap. Because he he washed his clothes, and he was packing his final stuff, trying to get some extra sleep because of the heat. But mind you, when my client tried to check in, he said, "Okay, maybe there's an error." Maybe he'll check in a little bit later. He got the mess, turned around, and then, well, still can't check in. Flight's not, flight's not available to come, to come in. Why well, he must be saying, what the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? He said, I know. I'll check the flight. I have the flight number, and I have the date that I'm going to Denver, so I'll check it. So, he took his flight number, copy and pasted it to the flight checker, and 
What did my clients discover? <gasps> His flight got canceled. So, ladies and gentlemen, you may see the YouTube video, some funny YouTube very video, especially about Spirit, especially about American Airlines. American Airlines is the worst of the worst. But you may have seen videos of people who had 16 hours of the, the, uh, at the airport and then find out that the flight was canceled and then turn around uh, having to find out how the hell they're going to get to their destination. And then you might find out, you might hear a video where a person got to D.C. late because their, uh, their American Airlines was, was, you know, well, let's just say they suck. I know I'm in the courtroom, but still. This is my narrative, and that's why I'm going to stick to it. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you did not go to the airport. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't even go to the airport. No, this is not even a day of the flight, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. This is the day. This is check-in day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the day that you check in at before you go to the airport, Okay. So now, now, ladies and gentlemen, you're still going to go to the airport because you had, my client had to leave past it because he's checking out Monday. Because by then, he'll be in Denver. Okay? So now, see, my, my client was so excited. He was so happy that he was going to get finally get to be at a hotel room at a decent time and be able to check in at a decent time. The last time that he did this was when he went to Podfest, although he had to had to risk life and limb staying overnight at the airport, one, and two, almost seeing, oh, well, he did see a guy who, a.k.a. passed out, but looking like he was dead, being pulled into an ambulance. He saw it with his own, own partly blind eyes. So, no. ladies and gentlemen of the jury, when you see the evidence of the case unfolding, I will ask you, I will come back again. I will give my closing arguments. And I will ask you to find not Southwest Airlines guilty, but to find the season of summer guilty as charged. I thank you.